We are here, World at the 2015 World Championships in Roseville, Minnesota. My name is Steven. And I'm Tim. And we're watching Netrunner, one of the most beautiful games ever made. Timmy Wong playing on the left with Near Earth Hub. Dan Darginio, Valencia on the right, defending world champion uh, against the uh, crowd's most loved player, Timmy Wong. I'll go I agree. out and say I agree. it. I'll just say it. He's a charmer. We got Timmy Wong starting it off does, with some old school NEH action here. Does he have four agendas in his hand? He has a lot of agendas in his hand. Beware, he just put Exploda Palooza down, something else in a sweep sweep, and he's okay. he's spreading those remotes, hoping that Val stays put and sets up a little bit. Dan hits the drug dealer there. That's the first step. Second, he's gonna check the remote. It's Exploda Palooza. Boom. Gaining Timmy five. Watch out, Dan. Don't you don't want to die here. This is a classic mid-season setup. It's gonna score two <laughs> it points. This is the classic mid-season setup. Third is draw a card. And the fourth is monies. He gains some cash and passes it back over to Timmy. He's going to draw for his drug dealer. Timmy's got a shot at mid-seasons here. Does he have it? I don't think he does. Mid-seasons. Oh, another agenda. Scorch, scorch. Uh-oh, that's not good. Scores the Astro. So Dan chooses incorrectly. Now keep in mind, he's near Earth. Which means he's not Harpsichord, which, which means, means Dan could have just scored both yep. of those right off the top if he'd have run them both. Terrifying. Wow, some wily play here from these guys already. Timmy and Astro up, looking pretty good. No ice, however, on the board. Wide open, running HQ, first click for Dan. Taking a look at the hand. Sees a card, and it's a Beal. Scores Boom. it. Four to two. There's Steven. four points, four to two. It's coming down the pipe here. It's a quick one. He's going back into HQ. Rolls. Oh, and six he gets points. another Beal. Oh. He gets another Beal going to six points. There's, there's a game in hand right now, Stephen. End? This could, could be this, the end. This is not the end of this game, surely. A final. And he sees Shattered Remains, which Does goes go away. Back in? Now, Shattered Remains, a clear sign that there's going to be some killing going on from uh, Attempted Timmy. Attempted killing. Attempted kill. Obviously, you want to kill those Plast Creatures of that card. So, Dan got to be on point. Again, a mid-seasons play here looks reasonable. What's Dan going to do about it? Just draw a card. He's fine. He's up 6-2. He just needs to put on some brakes. Yeah, but we've all been here. You're up 6-2, and you just get blown up. And draws for Drug Dealer. All right, so Timmy drawing, installing a card. Vice versa on that order there. Advance twice. Mm -hmm. Score the breaking news. scoring the breaking news. Okay, okay, just out of hand. So the game <clears throat> is no longer in his hand from what I can tell. He's got a wide open R&D. Dan could just potentially win this thing right off the top here. Every access is a potential Every win for access. Dan at this point. Is he going to take? Is he going to take the risk? Dan strikes me as the kind of guy that is not risky. Just he's, kidding. He's <laughs> here comes the siphon. Here it is. Boom, lands the siphon. Ten credits. It's a swing. Five credits gone from Timmy. And now Dan's game plan is keep Timmy too poor to do anything fancy. And then siphon again. He's going to siphon again. Completely knock him out. That's going to take all of his uh, fun tricks off the table. And Dan now up a ton of money. And this is what happens whenever no ice is on the board. Siphon, in the most spammed way possible, can be supremely effective. It's obnoxious, Steven. It's as obnoxious as it's ever been, my friend. Ever. He's got another agenda in his hand. Back over to Timmy and loves to see a, what, sixth agenda at this point? Sixth agenda. Third turn. Tim. And it's not a good one, too. It's a Palooza. Ooh. Can't even get it out. If that was an Astro right here, this game would look a lot different. That's very, A very lot true. different. Let me tell you. And this is not at all where Timmy wants to be. He's you mean with no ice and down 6-3? I mean, he's looking for mid-seasons, but Dan has tagged himself up for him. So, like, that's not a huge deal. He's uh, not looking for mid-seasons anymore. He's not. Yeah, now it's done. Mid-seasons plan is off the table. So this deck is having to function a bit differently, although Dan does have the tags. To pop so he's up. a pop-up window on top of R&D. He's got to check every turn. Keep him honest. There's a Street Peddler. I'm going to take a look. One, two, three. I was going to love it if Dan didn't even look at those cards. Ever. <laughs> All right, looks at him. We don't know what's under. It's and probably like hedge fund, hedge fund, hedge fund. Or gamble. Yeah, keep in mind, like, we know Timmy has at least one Scorched in hand. Mm -hmm. So, like, a sweeps double Scorched here is still not out of the question. There's a wraparound going to stop that completely. And now that play is gone. So he no longer has to worry about that. Also, potentially a signal that there's an agenda in that hand there. 
Which is probably the signal you want so he doesn't dig for some R&D pressure. That's, that's fair. That's totally fair. You know he's going to check it anyway. There goes the drug dealer card draw. Or at least he might. Did Timmy draw... Pop no. up window. Okay, pop up window. Right, right, right. I thought I saw that exploder right on top. I'm like, no. Say it ain't so. <laughs> Say it ain't so. There's not that many in there, is there? Now, Dan saving grace here being paparazzi. He's got to be careful that it doesn't just get trashed. So there's there's a lot of play here. A lot of play left. Installs and gains a credit. So we've got a pop-up over R&D. Timmy trying to maintain some position here. He's trying to salvage the situation. There's the wireless net. So that's going to be a lot more to trash any of these resources. Drug dealer. How about a card that you see and you think, oh, this is not going to work. It's definitely cool, combo wombo, but and it it's works. Not work. And, and then it, it works just really works. hard. And there it is. There's the protection. So the the Rotsi coming in. He sees a what is that? A product placement? That is a news team. News team, right? Just got to take minus, the tags. Minus one agenda point or two tags. Or two tags. Classic Shiq gamble. And it uh, happens to be whenever you're playing against tag me. Don't much matter, does it? You don't really care. And now if I'm Dan, I'm a little nervous about Psychographics Beal here. There's still two, there's only two Beals accounted for. Uh, I happen to know Timmy's deck list on this, and there's less Beals than you want to be in that deck, <laughs> let me tell you. Here's the thing, though. Timmy's at one money. He can't do nothing right now. He can't do anything. Can't do nothing. And he's got a, <laughs> he's got a chance here. So he, he's got a wraparound currently doing some work, and that's going to work out for him. I think he needs to get a ton of money as much as he can, of course, prevent the siphons, and try for a psychographics or a scorched play. Now, what we don't know, he's got a trash paparazzi, potentially even the net pavilion if he wants to, in order to land any scorches. Now, if Dan has paparazzi on the street, either the whole thing is for nothing, so it's a very risky play. The kill might not even be a valid option here. So much to consider, my friend. So much to consider. Everybody watching, what are you guys thinking? What happens here? Now, Now keep in mind, Timmy could also Astro Train out and simply Psycho and Astro, you know? like And he, win the game. He has played Psycho and Explode of Palooza, get two points. There are avenues here. All is not lost. Now, do we know how many Psychographics Timmy is running? Is it two? I happen to know slash think that it's only one. Only one. Okay. I think that it's only one. All right, get some money, installs over Archives. He's expecting that DLR love to come he in. He is expecting the DLR, and he doesn't want the old DLR, DLR, DLR run. He wants to at least make Dan work for it, install a breaker. Man, this I thought this game was over long ago, and it's starting to, it's it's starting not, to turn into something here. It's not over until you hit seven points. We got an inject. Blackmail's good. Uh, good. Good. And good. Is it Josh B.? That is a Joshua B, two black males and a queen's gambit. What, what does the B stand for? Uh, Bieber. Bro? Joshua Bro? I don't think anyone knows. Maybe that Worlds of Android book will tell us. Mm. It'll tell me everything. He seems to be a futuristic tattoo artist. Slash arm maker. And we see, it looks like another news team. Some and takes tags. the tags. Keep track, keeping track, and now Timmy's making Dan keep track of these tags here because of the psychographics. They're option. relevant. It is relevant. They are relevant. Gonna go ahead and run R and D here. Sees a pop up window. Good exchange here for Timmy. One and one. He just needs money here more than anything. Uses the blackmail, and sees a C source, I believe, or SEA source, depending on who you're talking to. And Dan doing some drugs here, just dealing. Drawing cards Nasty. all day, every day. How, all right. How good is drug dealer, Steven? Oh, it's so good. It's so good. Only one influence. Only one. Just put a, drugs are plentiful in the Android universe. Well, a lot of drugs in the, in the Anarch faction, too. So that's, that's going to be a common splash for the Anarchs here for a long time, I, I think. Especially with Faust being such a big deal. I've seen, is that a, at least one Scorched in hand? Yeah, he's had a scorch in his hand since opening. I hand. see a closed accounts, which is impressive. We got a sweep sweep as well. So this this economy game is about to leverage. And if he can get that before another siphon hits, this could be a really big deal. The kill may actually be relevant. He's got to bet. 
He's got to bet on Dana having paparazzi under or a plascrete under that street peddler. Draws a card. It's an Archangel. That actually will help shore up R&D. Not going to use it, though. They're going to play the sweeps. For six money, right? Yeah, drug dealer. Really, really good for sweeps week. That's good for Timmy. Yeah, that is very good. That is the amount of money that he wants to have, which is more than zero. Pop-up window just feeding Timmy's economy yeah, here. Yeah, okay. We're, we're getting an economic turn here. Dan can win the game. He misses. Whew. Accesses an yet another card. Timmy's got to think his, he's just got to have high odds plays here. He's got to make <laughs> luck the balancing factor after such Second a poor start. Second pavilion is not what you want. Uh, Second pavilion is a big problem and, and a, a fall, fall guy. guy. So the kill option at this point, I believe, is off the board. For a while. We can try to work through it, but you're probably just looking to score out here. Draw through R&D, hit the Astro, defend HQ a little bit, and then train out and maybe hit the Explodapalooza. Uh, on the psychographics. That that could be the best play here. And there's Drug Dealer getting some cards. Mandatory draw for Tim. Oh, there is that the second Scorched? I think so. So we have a valid option my minus paparazzi. You, <laughs> Steven, not Zach. Where is Zach? You need to go get him? Yeah. Zach. My question, Steven. Come in here. At this point, is the kill just a rabbit trail you should not try to follow? I would be so tempted, but it's going to cost you so much. 18 money to get rid of one paparazzi. Oh, my goodness. Right? Or no, 12 money. 12, 12 money. 12 money. That's like all your money. Uh, you got any fall guys in, and then you get it. Now, I, I think because the street peddler's out, you probably have to trash it as well in case it has the paparazzi on it. Oh, it's just a disaster. It's too much to trash, man. That's, this is the, the problem that this deck... Yeah, unless he has like an all-seeing eye sneaking around in there, I just don't... But he still has to have two all-seeing seeing eyes for he that. He does. Uh, he does. Because once he has the bad pub to remove. Yep. She's got it. Now, Freelancer is pretty good. But now it's getting bad, you know, because Joshua B is coming out on five clicks. This is the DLR deck doing some serious work. Sets up this board state that's oppressive. Usually they're not up six at this point, but still just a tough board state to get your mind around. Man, and decision points abound. So you've got R&D ice, question mark. Dan's going to check it out here. And Timmy deciding on the res. Is it that Archangel? It is the Archangel, yes. I think that's not bad res here. It's not a bad res. That's a great little card. Maybe start getting some of these pavilions off the board. Just bounce paparazzi and see what Dan does. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Bounce it all. I mean, even right now, he's got no credit. So you could bounce an empathy. I mean, he can't replay it. He'd have to get a credit and then replay it. So that, that could be an opening. He does have those extra clicks from Josh, slash one extra click. <laughs> <laughs> those extra clicks, red as one extra click. A lot of thinking going on here, Steven. Yeah, it's like this is a serious game. There's a lot to consider. I'm going to be honest, I thought this game was over about six turns ago. Yeah, hey, spoiler alert, uh, I was concerned as well. And Dan now being asked to track his tags for reasons. You know, reasons. Raisins. Grapes. It's just grape. Making the run. Here comes the Archangel. Come on, Timmy, put it up. Boom. Yeah. Arced. There it is. Trace of five. Tr trace six, isn't it? Is it six? I think so. It might be five. I don't know. It's a new card. There goes the pavilion. There it goes. Valencia bad pubs through the pop up. Mm. Sees a card. Mm. Timmy nonchalant. I'm not worried. Check this out. <laughs> Check out this top card. Not a big deal. It's not an Not a problem. I know. I don't know. Now imagine what happens if Dan gets DLR here. It's good. He he really just like he sees DLR and. It's Pop over, so he guy pops Fall money. Guy for money. Installs the David. And then siphons through the wraparound. And that is just incredibly demoralizing <sighs> for beautiful. Timmy here. Pops the Fall Guy for it. Now Timmy on one credit. 
and still not going to have nearly the money that he needs to do anything. That is no. a, that's a great play by Dan. That is just an incredible play. That's the kind of thing that a lot of times other players would get tunnel vision as far as what am I doing, what are my priorities. He's going to go ahead and give HQ a check. This could be the game here on the Palooza. Uh, no. No, goes back. Scorched. Goes back. Goes back. Okay. So Dan has seen the Scorch now. Yeah. He knows this is the plan. He, I mean, he knew it was there. I'm positive. He's he's probably... Is he wanting Timmy to hold on to the idea that he might scorch him out here? Oh, yeah. I think he's wanting Timmy yeah. to hold on to that idea, that concept. Dan is a smart enough player to know how much money and how much effort it's going to take to actually tr attempt to kill him. Yeah, and we've already seen a couple of sweeps weeks. We do have Jackson, I believe, on the board now, so he's going to be able to get some of that economy back in the deck. Could allow Timmy to get back in this thing. And also maybe find an Astro script. Mm-hmm. Definitely could do that. With David threatening that wraparound, it's scary to hold an agenda right now. He's only got one, one run. He's got one run. And a 20% chance probably after a Jackson uh, clipping. But I, but, I mean, at this point. At this point, that's a pretty good shot. I mean, you have a 80% <laughs> ha chance my, that he doesn't get it is pretty solid. In my humble opinion, in order for Timmy to win this game, he needs to score one more Astro script. Yeah, and he's going to need to do some things that are not great odds to do it. I mean, he's got to get one more thing to kind of kick him back into this game. If he, if he gets an Astro and scores it, he goes to five. Now the pressure is on. He gets the extra cards for Jackson, and now he's threatening the Astro score. Yeah. So Dan, do you think Dan goes into this wraparound? Does he try? Does he imagine that Timmy has it? It depends on if he has a way to siphon or not. No. <laughs> that is yeah, ultimately the case. Maybe I don't, I don't know. It's tough. Probably. Or does he does he spin it to come through on and check R and D? I mean, he he could easily do that as well. He could just pay off that trace if he was really desperate. Not the greatest play. Just some ideas. Just brainstorming here, Tim. Just thinking out Just loud. some ideas. Just some thinking. Those drug dealers are doing work this game. Oh, my gosh. By the way. Let me just draw all the cards. And But still no DLRs, man. Still none. This is the crazy thing. It's like, okay, I'm not seeing them. Now, there are a lot of options. You can just start to dig, dig, dig. You could have started doing that turns ago, which a lot of players playing this deck would do. Dan choosing to keep the pressure on. Land in the siphons, threatening R&D. I think that Dan knows if he digs for DLR, it's just giving Timmy all of it's, the windows to score that Astro It's a little too much time. Yeah, it's a little too much time. Which is the problem with any age. Absolutely. They can always train out. And really, I mean, it's... You know, imagine Timmy's holding two Astros after that Jackson draw. Mm -hmm. you got to be on point here. you got to be scared. I told Dan to put a clot in that deck. There's just no reason not to. You got the paddlers anyway. You gotta have a. You gotta have one. There's a pad campaign. That's not what you want. That's not the cards. Not winning. And I don't see. Here's the thing. I don't think that Timmy's running quantum predictive. That's completely. But if fair. he was, can you imagine how scary this would be? Yes. It'd be much better. To you. Here's Jackson, going out of the game. We're gonna get back three cards. Sweeps weeks. Probably. And maybe a Palooza? Did he discard a Palooza earlier? Could be a Palooza. Maybe keep it. Could be a closed accounts. Uh, two sweeps and a closed account. That's fair. Yeah. All good cards right now. Having said, Dan doesn't need much money for this deck. He need, actually technically needs zero money. One to play blackmail on, on archives to win the thing. Or to just mill out. To, I mean, he could just mill the whole thing out. It just yeah. It's just a race. I mean, he wants to install Faust, probably. So there's three money. But the, yeah, but this is the this is the beautiful thing, right? It, as much as we talk about and everyone you know discusses DLR as a kind of non-interactive uh, archetype, this has been a pretty standard game of Netrunner so far. I mean, tons of runs, tons of pressure from Dan, even while he's setting up all these pieces. Hasn't seen the DLR yet. Timmy catching a tough break up front, but recovering. Getting some decent ice going here. Archangel about the most decent ice that NBN has to offer. Got the Astro scored. And Archangel's going to trigger here. Team is going to return something to hand. And it's the wireless. You don't want to return that David. Don't want to give it some more counters. Sees the top card. It's supposed to I don't think you want to discard the Peddler either. No, you don't. You risk it. I mean, it's tough to say. 
I like that he doesn't have DLR now, and I don't want to give him another shot at it. And here's this. He got the Palooza here? No, he's a snare. I doubt Tim is going to pay that off. No, he's not going to pay it. And trashes it over. All right, David's out. HQ a little bit safer. Scorch still in hand. And hey, look at this, by the way. Doesn't it look like the kill option is a lot more viable right now? It depends. And there's Faust. Tim, if we have a sweep sweep double Scorch, we could see the end of this thing. I mean, he'll get those drug dealer cards, so it's going to be hard. I think he's... He he'll needs, be at seven. He needs Scorch, Scorch. Now, the only thing is if Dan has Paparazzi on the Peddler. That's the ultimate question we have to be asking ourselves. Do you ourselves. go for it, though? I, I, man, I think you've well, got I to. I don't think he has... Uh, does he have the sweeps? Do we now? No, I don't think he has it in hand. He's got closed accounts in hand, though. Do you take this opportunity to trash the drug dealers? I, I, tough, tough choices, man. I probably trash Josh, the peddler. Josh B, for sure, Peddler right? and B, B. Are you just treading water, though? If you trash the peddler, paparazzi's a lot less real on it. Yeah, yeah, certainly you can know that that's not the case. So an install and draw. Just still needs money. Probably doesn't want to go back into the into the poorhouse again. The red zone. I mean, he's in the poorhouse still. Yeah, he's still in the poorhouse. But certainly, if he trashes both of those cards, it looks real bad. I mean, goes to zero. But it, it depends on what you're trying to do here. Yeah, what Timmy's what he's got a plan. Is. He's got a plan. And draws into looks like TGTBT and Psycho. He's got the Psycho, so he can potentially score out the uh, Palooza next up. turn if he needs to. And then he's an Astro draw away from the whole thing. Or a Beal draw if he happens to have it. Which we, he Which we know that he doesn't. Sorry, guys. But Dan doesn't know that, I don't think. Dan doesn't know that. That would really put some pressure on Dan. Man, I, I, I think you probably just have to get the Exploded Palooza out of your hand. And just score it. It's hard not trash that Joshua B. That's tough for me. Don't like Dan on five clicks here. But I like my four money, too. All right, Faust discarding a bunch of cards. Breaking Getting the through the Archangel. One for the pop-up window goes to Timmy. Do you shuffle Emma Jackson here to dilute the agendas? Man, uh, I like having draw two on the board right now. I think I would, I would force Dan to go run something. The whole game is in the line. Yeah, you? but you've got, like, you've got to just take these chances. She's a pop-up. Boom. Woof. Boom. Woof. Boom. Woof. Boom. Woof. 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 Ha. Oh, man. And Dan just, just trying to find one more point now, somewhere. Just just not finding it. These accesses are heart-wrenching. Oh, they're crazy. They're, they're absolutely insane. Ooh. Every access is literally the game. Every access, the game is on the line, and that is the most incredible thing. Off campus, David, Daily Cass, and another inject. Still no DLRs. Now you don't want to see that David there. Still no DLRs. The David is a complete bummer. I think that's you probably are thinking. I got to spend this money right now. I've got to get that Exploded Palooza out of my hand. Turntable. There's a DLR. There's a scrub. Right. Notice Dan speeds up his draws after he sees that DLR. Turntable. Not gonna matter. Dan's going to have to steal the win, so he can't do any switching. Same old thing for the Siphon. we got a David in hand. We know that much. And we also have a DLR. And there it is. So now things be, things be crazy. Now discussing the usage of Joshua. If you have to untap and tap him uh, to do it, or if you just you know consider it always... Always on. There's paparazzi. Now there's no wireless net. Yeah, I mean you out. need to you need to trash these. I think you you either DLR for sure. You either score the Explodapalooza or you trash these right this second. I don't think that you score the Explodapalooza. You, you trash DLR. Trash Jadley. You gotta trash Josh, right? Ah, this deck is heart wrenching. It does this kind of. The, uh, the only card that you have to trash right now is DLR. You have. I think you have to get it off the board. 
your game just goes way downhill. That DLR on the board. Maybe draw two with Jackson first. Take a th take a look at your options. You've got him. That that'll be disheartening. Just trash DLR. That is how you lose this game that you are already losing. It's it's. Now let me let me just. Let me just entertain. Let me, let me entertain this. Okay, let's let's assume you you score the exploded palooza and go to five. Then you get DLR'd for a while. What if your next draw is your Astro and you just win? If he hits a pop up, you go to two credits. You trash DLR. Well, Timmy starts out by resing a pad campaign, so he loses one credit ultimately. It's gonna pay off if Dan doesn't go over there and trash it. Getting a little bit of drip econ, maybe too late. And is he gonna trash? Is he gonna score? Got three clicks, four credits. Is he holding on to the idea of the kill here? I think that this is the moment that you give up on it. Yeah, you probably give up on the kill right now. You had a shot at I think if he'd have drawn into a sweeps, he'd have had a a shot at it, at least force Dan to pull like something off that street peddler. You know that Dan has same old thing in his hand. Right. So, if you get above five credits, he's going to siphon you. He's about to siphon uh, siphon the, the fun out of you. Going for ice here. So, two up the top. Two credits left. Is he going to trash it, Tim? Trash Tim? Come on, DLR Come on, Timmy. Timmy. Trash it. Come on, Timmy. Trash the DLR. Trash the DLR. Timmy. Timmy. Trash it. Just trash it. Trash the DLR. Trash it. Kenny, is he going to trash it? Trash the DLR, Timmy. <laughs> you know you want to. Please trash it. Please. He wants to. He's he's looking at it. I can't even see his eyes and I know he's looking at it. I know that that's exactly where his focus is. Is he thinking it's the right move? Is he thinking instead trash the paparazzi? No. And then go for the scorched. He's going yes. there guys. Okay. All right, <sighs> Timmy Wong. Us. Making the making the the good plays happen here. That would have been a shame if he'd have missed that. And that's where you kind of got to wonder, right? So should Dan have waited, uh, you know, and maybe made an HQ run with a David or a Siphon in a turn or two and then installed the DLR and started to use it? Good questions. I Thank mean, you, Steven. Dan is out of David's. Well, he's got one in his hand, didn't he? No. Didn't he, he got, draw one? He got trashed with the inject. Oh, the inject. Right, right, right. Is he out forever? Yeah, he only has two in the deck. Yeah, and he doesn't have recursion, does he? No, no deja vus or anything. No clone chips? Nope. What kind of Anarch deck is this? Just kidding. <laughs> All right, so is that wraparound just like winning forever? Faust can break it. Though. I mean, Faust can get through there, but it's just kind of annoying. Running archives. Okay, trying to force the Jackson off the board here. Or install another DLR. Could be doing that. All right, Jackson gets used. And rather than, uh, he's going to install the Hades shard instead of accessing archives. And installs the Hades shard there. Can't use it, of course. That only works when you play it straight up. Yep. Pay seven, you're in your same action window, you can immediately pop it. Using its ability, though, sadly not. Now, if he just makes seven credits and plays Hades shard... He wins off the TGBT in the archives. Don't know if he could have got to seven, but it was there. Now, Timmy, probably when Dan gets to seven, uses Jackson, would be my guess. Because these guys are playing on that level. They're good at this game. They know what's up. Pad Campaign is going to be doing some work here, by the way. Unless Dan trashes it. He got no money. Well, there are ways. <laughs> I don't think he cares. He's just two fall guys away. That's all I'm saying. It's true. Get it the hard way. Yeah, well, I really lucky, I guess. 
All right, so Hades Shard being in play is nuts. It's pretty good. Shuts down any kind of Jackson shenanigans in the future. Dan looking at his street peddler. Is he going to pedal a pedal? Where's the peddler on there? Looking at his hand, looking at his discard. He's, 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 he's getting, getting low on cards. On, yeah, I was thinking that too. He's getting really low on deck here. And if he runs out of deck... It makes the kill a lot easier. Well, yeah. Slash impossible with paparazzi, but... It's only two credits away from being trashed. Man, there's just... You feel like Timmy's just on the edge. And there there he goes. Yep. He's exactly what you said. Gains credits, a fall guy, trashes the pad campaign. Oh, man, we've got ourselves an old-fashioned money war. <laughs> Zero credits to one. It's an arms race. It is totally, totally. It's a cash race. And still three to six. Timmy's still playing from behind, but... But starting to look better and better. Do we know what that ice on R&D is? It's a pop-up window. That's yep. good. Plays the same old thing and then hits up the drug dealers for a couple cards. Do you trash that same old thing? Oh, Tim, I want to trash everything, but I don't have the money. Do you credit, credit, trash, same old thing? You will never have money unless you crash that, trash that card. I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm sad that Joshua B's been around this long. I'm sad about paparazzi. He's still, is he still holding those scorch or did he dump them? I think he dumped them. All right. So we got a new plan and we have a breaking news in hand. Not exactly what you're looking for. But. But. It's points. It's a point. It's a point. It's a single point. Still have the Psycho Exploda Palooza play once he has the cash. Timmy really just wanting to see like those sweep sweeps right here. Would be All a three big in the deal. deck, right? There's another score. It's not exactly what you're looking for. It's like Dan holding six cards. And it's coming down to the line here. Any of these draws could have been the Astro. Dan's got to be freaking himself out here. Except he's remaining cool. I would be seeing agendas everywhere at this point. All right, Timmy getting money the hard way. Is he saying, I'm going to score that Astro next turn? What's Dan thinking? What's he going to do? He's got no money. Is Dan going to siphon here? Mm -hmm. Three money? Is that the line? Mm -hmm. That may be the line. Yep. Now, keep in mind, like once he's out of deck, Faust, Faust isn't going to get it done anymore. Faust is not as good as it once was. This is why my Wayland Mill the Runner deck uh, with, uh, what is that, Renovation? Underway? Yeah. Renovation? Or tell you, it's the answer to Faust, guys. <laughs> it's the answer. Run him out of cards. <laughs> uh, just do it. Advance, advance, advance. Advance, advance, advance. Mill six. Once I've advanced it a few more times. It seems good. It would be really frustrating. It does not seem good, One time though. that it worked. Too bad it just gets yep, steamrolled by Kate. All right, so same old thing for Siphon here. Discards four cards, leaving two in hand. Gonna gain six. This feels a lot like anatomy, man. It feels like those old Siphon decks, doesn't it? It feels good. It's the old school Anarch Siphon, man. It's so cool. It's back with new toys. It's like, oh, did you like money? Hey, your opponent can do very little without money. We've been seeing it all game. You've got Psycho, you've got Scorched, but what does it matter? Do we know if Timmy's running shipment from Shan Sam? Peddler for a peddler. Shan Shan. We don't know that, but Dan is not going to pedal for pedal. He's gonna draw, and he's gonna draw. Puts him at four cards. Oh man, if Timmy had but one credit, he could he could threaten sweeps, trash paparazzi, scorch him, but Dan's gonna have drug dealer cards. There's the wireless. Alright, alright, and there's Dan the drug has dealer. Five cards left in his deck? How many cards is that? Uh is looks that like more? four or five. Shadows are weird. Install drawing a card. Still got the breaking news and Palooza in hand. Gonna gain two credits. And passing it over to Dan. What if that was the What if it script? is? What if that's an agenda? Does Dan have to check that? 
I think he has to check that, right? But what if it is and he doesn't? What if it's like a product placement or something? Does he have to check that? You got to check that, right? Uh, archives. That's going to signal a uh, signal DLR to me because he's got Hades if he really wants it. Nerez accesses archives. Sees that the kill option is off the table. Two more tags from the news team. Yeah, two more tags. Doesn't matter. He doesn't care. What if there was an operation that was gain X credits where X is the number of tags that are in I think it's coming. There's the DLR. Now taking into account the drug dealers that we missed earlier, I believe. And does he just deal? Does he start the DLR business? Mm -hmm. uh, is, is he going to? Oh, Dan, yeah, yeah, he's got to chop it. Is that the? Nope. That's just a sand sand. Okay. Discard a card for DLR. Discard a card for DLR. And what here are those we cards, go. Steven? We're going to start. Well, they could be getting him closer to the Astro. Did he just draw into it? This is what I was. I was all over this concept with uh, Hollis and Jameson both. It's like, yes, DLR can be completely backbreaking. But what if he just milled two and Timmy draws into the Astro? Well, then it's just random. It is just random. It is that. It's like Max. The problem is that the Corp loses when they're out of cards. And he drew into the Astro. He drew into the Astro, dude. It's in his hand right now. You score it. You score it. And you get to four credits and you win. You score it. And then you get to force credits and you win. Install. Does he want a card? Uh, he's he's want, determining whether or not to get this NEH draw or not. Oh my gosh, we got ourselves a game. He goes to five points with, with an astro counter. counter. And then all he needs to do is get to four credits and he wins. Or draw into another astro. Install. No new card. No new remote. Advance, advance, and there's the other Astro. We got five. Oh. This is happening now. This is absolutely it's happening. It's six to five, Steven. It's absolutely happening. Dan has got to be on the edge of his seat here. This is insanity. He's running out of deck. He can start milling cards. Check it with Hades Shard, do a final Hail Mary. Hail Mary. He's got to be worried about Quantum Predictive. I mean, that's where I would just be like gutted. What if you just get three Quantum and it's over? Two and it's over. But Timmy's not running them. We know that. And he's just running them the old-fashioned way. He gets in. Does he have it? He, he got doesn't have he's it. He's got nothing. He doesn't have it. He doesn't have it. He's, Timmy's still in this game. So if Timmy, he, he needs money. I wish he had one credit here and he could sweat in the, uh, er, the sweeps. Threaten, threaten the sweeps, install Psycho. And there's the sweeps. sweeps. Oh, he's a, <laughs> he's he's a credit hard. short. He's one he's credit one short. He's one credit short of winning this game. No, oh. no, that's got to be so frustrating. Oh my gosh, no. No. If he had but one, just one single credit. Credit sweeps, install on the sand sand. So I think, I think he's hoping, he's hoping that he has to force Dan to check that remote because what if that is the palooza can he res the sand sand with the astro counter i think it's close there's math there not quite he doesn't need yeah it, now i maybe can i know i know like it's i don't it's just kind of a weird you can just psycho no yeah i know but maybe dan thinks that he has to check that in case it's a four uh four score i think he has thing. to check it because it might be jackson yeah it is more important yeah so what do you do? DLR5 Hades? You run the remote. Make sure it's not Jackson. Make sure it's not Jacko. Mill four. And then pop. And then pop. That's the only... But then if you miss on those four, the game, the Timmy wins. Yep. Yeah, that's... that's I, I still think it's his best line. It's probably the best line. And how weird. We've gotten to the point in this game where we're talking about Dan's best line to win as if it's kind of a long shot here. So he gets four accesses. Or it, five if he wants to he risk the, same the Jackson. Thing. He might... Might. He could he Might. could totally siphon here, right? Does he have? Oh my gosh! Five to six. Dan been on six points from turn two. Can't 
Can he do it? First is DLR. You Second have to is run DLR. First, right? Third is DLR. If it's Jackson, it's so bad for you. If that's Jackson, Timmy wins the game here. Popping the Hades shard. Here we go. Miss, 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 miss. Score! Oh! <laughs> no. Crazy. Oh, oh my goodness <laughs> gracious. Dan, my heart. Dan is our world champion. Dan is world champion. And, and Timmy wins next turn with Psycho. How did he? He played out of it like a complete champion. Dan <sighs> making the right calls here. This is an incredible game, guys. Thank you so much for watching and One joining credit us. Short. World 2015. We've got tons of net earner games from this series on the way or out, depending on when you're watching. So please stay tuned to our channel for that. And of course, all of this is made possible by everyone buying from our store. We use that money, of course, to produce these games and all the content that you see. So thank you to everybody who's bought our data tokens, our click trackers, and everything else. We do appreciate it, and especially our subscribers. So check out all these avenues if you like what we're doing. Thank you guys for watching. Tim, what'd you think? That was that was a heater. It's time to go home, man. I gotta go take a cold <laughs> shower after that one. We'll see you guys uh, later. See you guys.